welcome back to the cities of Charlotte. We're all staying safe and well. And I look at the away programs. Yes, our match day program watch away version where we where we give marks out of ten and we have a little table and see which ones are the best one. Today we're gonna have a look. We we snuck we snuck one in because I made a bit of a mess. Um, obviously the Bournemouth game I didn't go down, so I ordered one online. Unfortunately, I ordered the wrong one. So uh, we've actually snuck the Bristol City pro away program in before this one, but this obviously was before the Bristol City game but hey I'm sure you won't I'm sure you wouldn't have noticed if we hadn't mentioned it anyway so let's have a look at this uh, Bournemouth programme today the game took place of course on the 25th of February 2023 a, a well welcome reasonably easy victory for us wasn't it that was for sure so let's have a look inside this see what see what it's worth £3.50 let's see if it's worth £3.50 one of the cheaper ones at least uh, that's all we can say Please, if you are new to the channel, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board. Everything City, of course. This is just one of many different things I do. City past, present and forever. And if you are pushing buttons and subscribing or getting notifications, just push that little like button as well. We don't get as many views for this programme. Watch so if you can push that little like button, guys. It'd be much appreciated. I'm trying to get a target. I would say between 20 and 25, but it can get me to that small target. It'd be very appreciated, as I said. The, the programme watch, uh, not everyone's cup of tea, but uh, I try and make it really in interesting. And, uh, perhaps you might go out and want to buy a copy yourself. I'll let you know where you can get a copy of this uh, reasonably cheaper uh, before we go. Right, Wolves still head the league, of course, with a 8 out of 10. And right at rock bottom, we've got Southampton at 6 out of 10. So I don't less than, I don't mark anything less than 6 out of 10 anyway. So obviously within the 6 out of 10 range, I'll put programmes up and above each other, depending on, uh, on which ones we're talking about. Right, so let's have a look at this one. Neto's on the cover. He's a, a recent acquisition, a Brazilian goalkeeper. More on, more on him in the inside. And it's £3.50, as I said, for a compact 88 page. He's got that nice sort of um, re... You know, that paper feel that has already been re... Um, you know, uh, sort of, uh, what's it called? Uh, you know what I mean? Re reconstituted. It's got a nice feel to the paper. Very, very small. It's not a massive programme, not as in size-wise, but... Uh, yeah, it just looks as though they've redone the paper and it has a nice nice feel to it. I, I like it. Obviously, it's got a spine. It's not got staples or anything like that. Not a lot of words. There's a lot of blank space throughout as well, which is quite modern. Or it certainly was modern in the late 80s when I was putting magazines together. I'm not so sure if it's as modern nowadays to leave a lot of space, but there is a lot of blank space. As far as Bournemouth are concerned, stuff on Bournemouth, apart from the managers and the chairman and the, the women's football and the kids, etc. Is there anything quirky? Well, I don't know if you could call it quirky. There's something called Big Picture, which is just basically a two-page spread featuring a player celebration. It's all right. <laughs> you've got to stick it on the wall or something, but a bit pointless otherwise. There's nothing, nothing there. There's a piece on Burkino Faso's Dango Uatara. Uatara, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not too sure. Apparently, he's a poster boy over in Burkino Faso, so uh, he's obviously uh, a Bournemouth acquisition, so they're quite proud of him. They're certainly proud of him in Burkino Faso, that's for sure. In memoriam, yeah, very sadly, they have a little in memoriam for Christian Atsu, who, of course, died recently. You may have heard of that in the Turkish earthquake. He was actually played for the Cherries for a Briefly, he was on loan from Chelsea during the 15-16 season. So, a nice little two-page in-memoriam thing for him was there. Rest in peace. A piece on the cover star, as we mentioned before, Neto, a keeper from Brazil. He's played also for Juve, Barcelona, Valencia and Fiorentina. So, he's not done too bad. I'm sure he's not, uh, not sure if he's won any big big titles or anything like that. But uh, he's knocking around. He's 33, so be one of these backup keepers, won't he, that uh, Premier Clubs have to sort of bring in. 2023 marks the Cherries, so the sun's come out, guys, marks the Cherries' 100th year since being elected to the Football League. So a historian, or Cherries historian, Neil Vacher, is looking back at certain years uh, in the programmes. Today's picked 1976 uh, for a four-page piece. Uh, they have a player manager called uh, John Benson. Remember him? Oh, City, City fans of a certain age will remember John Benson. And uh, joint leading scorer at the time was a guy called Kevin Reeves. And he was coming to the notice 
of some so-called slightly bigger clubs at the time, although our interest wouldn't be around for about another three years from them. A piece on Alia Zabani uh, from Ukraine, a Ukrainian player, and his links to Kiev. Is it Kiev? We pronounce it now. We can't call it Kiev anymore, can we? Is it Kiev? Kiev, we call it. And, of course, um, both City and Bournemouth wore yellow and blue armbands for this particular game because the, the game uh, took place almost a year to the day from the uh, Russian invasion a year ago. Yeah, the game took place on the 25th of February. Of course, the Russian invasion was the 24th of February, 2022. Stats is just a piece, says what it does on, says, does what it says on the tin. It looks at some stats on, on Bournemouth players and, and obviously to do with scoring against City and, of course, includes 121 appearances for Nathan Aki, who, of course, uh, played for the Cherries before he came to us. And that's really it on Bristol City themselves. As far as City are concerned, and City and Bristol City, a combined thing, we get six pages in the dedicated City section and focus on four players, uh, Edison, Aki, KDB and Ireland, so they got a bit of a better prof- player profile. The other guys literally just get their age, and, uh, and that's about it, really, all the other guys. The City have got an uh, interesting fact that I've, I've stumbled across, which I think I knew, but I may have forgotten got uh, as at that point in time when we played Bournemouth City had five players in the top 10 table of accurate passing so obviously five of our players Stones was number one for pass accuracy followed very closely by Akanji and there was no other team in the top 10 had more than one player in it so uh, yeah I think I saw that a few weeks back but I hadn't took much notice but an interesting stat that Bournemouth picked up picked up on and as far as City and Bournemouth are concerned uh, yeah it looks back a six page feature actually on the game in the 17-18 season quite early on if you remember that was a, a, a quite a good season for us wasn't it and of course it was uh, classed as premium memories so they, they look at the time last time they were back in the Premier League ball which was in two, 2015 and 2020 so they picked this game out it's just a good, good healthy feature it's a six page feature including a, a, a detailed match report Managers' opinions, players' opinions, and some in- images. And of course, as City fans, we remember it was a late 97th minute Raheem Sterling goal that won the match for us. And he was then given a yellow, if you remember. I, I forgot about this actually. He was given a second yellow and sent off, and apparently, he was given his second yellow for excessive celebration. Yeah, we don't half get it, don't we? That's uh, pathetic. And that's about it, guys. That's nothing else in this. Um, last two or three programmes I've been reviewing on here, it's been a bit, uh, not certainly not been worrying wolves at the top of the table, that's for sure. Uh, not vast, that had vast uh, amount of stuff. I enjoyed the 1718 information. That was good. I'll be using that myself uh, um, into my permanent records, if you like, my file. And it was an interesting piece, of course, to look back at Bournemouth and find out about people like Kevin Reeves and John Benson as player manager, etc. So that was a good little read. But uh, that was about it. Just more a nice memento. And at £3.50, it's OK, it's fine. It's more a nice memento. Not exactly packed with info, unfortunately. I'll just say it's obviously bits to interest Bournemouth, Bournemouth fans, but uh, yeah, not too not too in depth on some of the players, etc. So I'm just going to give it my minimum mark, which, as you know, is six. But I will place it, yes, I will place it third bottom, just below Arsenal. So it's not going to go to the bottom, but I'll place it third bottom. So we've got Saints Carabao Cup uh, programme right at the bottom, followed by Bristol City's FA Cup programme next. And then obviously I'll put this Bournemouth just above Bristol City. So still no threat to Wolves who are... Yeah, running away with it with 8 out of 10. We've got a few to go yet, though, haven't we? So you never know. You never know what's around the corner. And this is available from the shop at Bournemouth. So if you want to, I think you I think you can sign out as a guest or or I might have had to join. Sometimes you have to join, but it's only a matter of giving your email. You might get a few might get a few emails from them, you know, as though you're a Bournemouth supporter. But, uh, yeah, you can get this for £3.50 plus £2 postage. So you can get it for cheaper than £5.50 on it, any, any other well-known site. Do so. Otherwise, just... just Get, go to Bournemouth. It comes with it. Comes within about three days of you ordering it. So uh, a good surface, surface, a uh, surface service. So uh, please get onto the Bournemouth uh, shop site. And next up, of course, in order, because I will be there, so hopefully I'll be able to pick a programme while I'm down there. I'll be at Crystal Palace, so that'll be the next in line for the away day programme. Watch. Let me know what you think, guys. If you got this, is it anything took your eye that perhaps I missed? Let me know. Great to hear from you. Or anything, anything to do with City, of course, it doesn't have to be about programs. Be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching. To me again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. <laughs>